Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping in with me today. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. So if you have that placement anywhere in your chart, then there can possibly be a message here for you today. Keep in mind, you guys, that this is a general energy read, so this may or may not resonate with you. There's no possible way that this can resonate with everyone. All right. So flip flop the energies around. We all know how this goes. I be saying you. It could be she. I could be saying she. It could be he. I could be saying them. This could be you. You know, flip flop the energies around. Um. I had started y'all reading already, as you can see, and my storage is full, so I had to go through and erode some things, so I'm just going to go through, um, I hadn't started clearing, clarifying just yet, um, so that's a good thing, so the first card that came out for you guys was Commitment. Okay, so some of you guys can be in a committed relationship or some of you guys may be working on a commitment, okay? Um, but this definitely has to do with some type of commitment, okay? The next card was forgiveness. So somebody here wants someone to forgive them. They're asking for forgiveness or they will be asking for forgiveness, all right, um, somebody here I feel like is not very in a very happy place right now without the other person. And um, someone knows that there's some action that needs to be taken in order for the process of healing to begin. Okay, um, your dreams need a practical plan. So whatever it is that you guys are dreaming of, whatever goals and plans that you have made for yourself and your life, um, Spirit is saying you need more of a practical plan when it comes to your dreams, okay? I'm not really sure exactly what, you know, plans you guys have made for yourself or what dreams, because everybody has dreams, okay, of what it is that they want their life or how they see their life, you know, um, in a year, in five years, in 10 years, in 15 years from now. But Spirit is telling you guys, whatever you guys are doing, Spirit is, is saying basically like, that's not practical, okay? Like, you have to be a little bit more practical when it comes to your planning, when it comes to your dreams and your goals um, and the reality that you are setting for yourself, okay? So some of you guys may need to go back and re-strategize and try to figure out another plan, something that is more practical, all right? Um, surrender to the divine. So as we all know, nothing happens for us when we want it to, okay? I know everybody knows that by now. Everything happens in divine timing, um, just because you want something to happen when you want it to happen, it does not work like that. Um, whenever spirit is ready for you to receive what it is that they have for you or what is meant for you, that's when it is going to happen. Okay. So surrender to the divine. Um, it's not up to us. It's up to the divine. So Whatever is yours is yours and there's no one or nothing that can take that away from you. Um, it's going to be given to you in divine timing. All right. So we have life partner that came out. We have devotion that came out and we have vivid dreams. Okay. So pay attention to your dreams. As this connection deepens, your dreams become more pronounced and full of answers. So a lot of you guys have been asking spirit for answers. Like, is this really my person? Is my person going to come back? Like, what is going on? You know what I mean? Spirit is saying a lot of the answers that you need are coming through your dreams. Okay? If you guys can remember your dreams, sometimes you can write them down in a dream journal. You know, um, and so you can sit and you can decipher the dreams because sometimes it's like, I dreamt of this and this happened and this happened. And it's like, well, what the hell? Like, I don't even understand. Like, what is fear trying to say to me? So that you guys can, you know, remember 
and try to decipher the dreams, like try to get the messages out of the dreams, all right? So pay attention to your dreams right now. A lot of the answers that you have been seeking are in your dreams. Devotion, a dedicated partner whose love is unconditional and eternal. Eternal. All right. So somebody is very devoted to you or someone wants to be devoted to you and only you. And they want to show you that they can be this person. All right. And yes, this person is your life partner. This person is someone that you can fully enjoy fully with wholeheartedly. You two can get through anything together. So Spirit is saying this is definitely your person. No relationship is going to be rainbows and butterflies and, you know, cotton candy and, and just so happy all the time. There's always going to be some ups and downs when it comes to relationships, as you guys know this already. All right. But Spirit is letting you know this is your life partner. This is your person. You guys can get through anything. So whatever um, challenges and obstacles that this relationship is going through at the time spirit is telling you guys that you guys can get through it all right um maybe you know with the your dreams need a practical plan maybe you guys need to sit down and strategize and think of other ways to be able to handle um disagreements or whatever the case may be okay but this is definitely your person all right so moving on we had the distant horizon card came out all right, so something at a distance is coming in or something at a distance is happening that you guys are not aware of. Then we had the house card come out. So something is going on within a home. So this situation, definitely you could have lived with your person or maybe you guys do live together and maybe someone is outside of the home right now. Um but like I said, we will get through this and see. And then we have pathways. So I feel like something is being put on you guys' path at this time. Um, the butterflies are in the in the pathway card. And it seems like with the pathway card, let me just show you guys this. See how the pathway is dark here, but as you go along the path, it seems like things just get brighter and brighter, and then the butterflies, that means transformation. So it seems like maybe some of you guys are in a very dark place right now when it comes to this situation, and really not knowing what is happening and what's going on, but um, I feel like um, things are going to get... Um, a little bit more clearer and a little bit brighter there's some type of transformation that is going on here and then we have the great fortune so something that you guys are working on can bring a lot of fortune and um, abundance in this situation or maybe this relationship can bring abundance and happiness and wealth okay so clarifying the um the distant horizon card the two cards that came out were the page of swords and the two of cups in reverse so you guys are definitely broke up with somebody right now okay this is your soulmate this can be your twin flame not everybody's on the twin flame journey only take what resonates all right but this person whoever you broke up with um this is what's happening at a distance this person is watching you from a distance all right. They're um, watching your home. They're watching your social media. Um, this person is sitting back and they are spying on you. OK, they they want to know what you're up to. They want to know, are you hurting? Are you feeling the same type of way they're feeling? They just want to know what's going on because you two are separated right now. You guys are not together with the house card. We have the star card. So someone here can just be at home just trying to heal from this breakup. OK, maybe. Maybe just trying to get yourself back together um, after this breakup. Like I said, some of you guys could have lived with this person. Didn't doesn't have to be, but I feel like someone is just like at home, really just going through the healing process um, after this breakup. With a pathway, we had the two of pentacles that came out. So this tells me that. Um, this tells me that there is some back and forth. There's some juggling going on in this situation. All right. Um, with the great fortune, we have the king of wands. So someone here is ready to take action. All right. Somebody here is ready to take action. So 
Back to the distant horizon. We have the Four of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Ace of Swords that came out. Heavy air energy here. Some of you guys may possibly be dealing with the air energy with the Page of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Four of Swords. So someone here is healing from betrayal. Okay? Someone here... Um, it, there's a lot of betrayal that was going on. Okay? Um... I feel like there was a lot of cheating, there was a lot of lying, there was a lot of deceptive energy that happened in this connection, and that's why you guys separated from this person. I feel like someone here is now ready to speak some type of truth. They made a clear decision in order for this situation to be healed, in order for you to be able to forgive them or them to be able to, to forgive you, switch it around, you guys know how this goes, there needs to be some type of truth and some type of clarity that is spoken here all right with the house card we have the eight of wands the higher font and the food someone here um i feel like took a risk all right and took action towards something that they were not supposed to um and if that's not the case i feel like someone here is definitely ready to speak some type of truth and take some type of action with the eight of wands so with the eight of wands here fire energy um so you guys can be receiving some text messages some emails some phone calls or somebody may just be popping up at your house all right this person wants a fresh start they want to kill this connection they're ready to take a leap of faith this person i feel like really does not know how you are going to respond to them but with the higher fun here, I feel like this is a very deep soul connection, okay? When I was shuffling the cards, like at the bottom of the deck, I was seeing the Knight of Wands energy with the Two of Swords. So this play person definitely was in and out, okay? This person could have been a player. This person could have been out having sex with multiple different people. And that could have caused the breakup in this connection because they couldn't make a decision if they wanted to be for the streets or if they wanted to be for you, all right? Right now, with the pathway here, with the hangman, that knight of cups, and the two of pentacles, I feel like someone here definitely is juggling and going back and forth. I feel like with the hangman, someone was in this energy is stuck, and now they realize that this is the pathway that they want to take, or maybe they're going back and forth in their head. This could be you um, trying to figure out, is this the path that I want to take? Is this the road that I need to go down? But with the Knight of Cups, I feel like someone here is ready to come in, and they want to make some type of offer. They want to make some type of romantic gesture. This person may want to take you out they may want to go have some drinks they may want to just kind of like loosen you up a little bit so that you guys can have this conversation all right great fortune we have the eight of swords the seven of swords and the seven of cups again a lot of air energy here with the water energy so someone here may have kept you as an option okay and they were being very sneaky they were being lying they were they were being lying they were <laughs> they were lying they were being sneaky they were being deceptive they were just trying to get away with a lot of bullshit all right and now it feels like this person is stuck in their thoughts and their feelings and they're self-sabotaging it's almost like they're they're in their head and they're thinking so much like can i should i take action towards this can this be fixed are they going to accept me back will they forgive me i I don't know okay um but they want to take action king of wands at the bottom of the deck they're ready to take action like you make this person happy you know what i'm saying you really do even though this person was like um even though this person was like you know a liar and they cheated they were in and out of your life they were a player they were having sex with multiple different people you know i feel like at the end of the day like this person really does love you and this person really wants to try to make this work all right but it's just a sneaky and deceiving energy that is like not sitting right for me with me but we're going to clarify you guys and we're going to see what this is spirit tell me about this four swords here Tell me about this four of swords. All right. 
Two of Pentacles. Somebody's going back and forth, back and forth in their head. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out what to do about this connection. The Hierophant was at the bottom of the deck. Because this is a very spiritual connection. So there is some a very deep soul tie when it comes to you and this person. Especially, like I said, this can be Twin Flame with the Hierophant and the Two of Cups here. This can definitely be a Twin Flame connection. And then the Hierophant was at the bottom of the deck um, just now, too, before I started shuffling again. So somebody is going back and forth in their head while they're trying to rest and why they are trying to heal to try to figure out if they want to fix this connection or should they just let it go. Spirit, tell me about this Four of Swords. Tell me about this Four of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah, because this person feels like that this can be both of you guys. I don't know. You guys flip-flop the energies around. Somebody here feels like this is their Ten of Cups, all right? Um, this is their Ten of Cups. Yeah, there's been a lot of betrayal. Yeah, this is, has been a very painful and and hard connection to deal or to even keep together because there's been so much that has been going on. And it's just like, but I know this is like my happily ever. Like, I know this is my person. This is who I want to marry. This is the person that I want to be with. So why does this have to be so hard? Like, why, why does this person do this to me? Like, why are they always cheating on me? Or why are they always always like not here and constantly in and out of my life and just lying and being deceptive and it's like a, you somebody here is going back and forth in their head trying to figure this out spirit tell me about this ace of swords here tell me about this ace of swords yeah someone wants to tell the truth because they want to heal this connection all right they're ready to let go of all of the burdens you know with the ten of wands at the bottom of the deck they're ready to drop all of the passionate responsibilities like they want to heal but this person is holding on to you deeply all right they're holding on but maybe this person has been holding on to some secrets or maybe this person is holding back because there's some secrets that they know that they have to tell you about before this can go anywhere, okay? So there, I feel like this person is holding back. Yeah, they want to kill. Yeah, they're ready to tell you the truth about everything, but they're holding back because they know that they have to come correct when they come to you. Tell us about this Five of Swords here, Spirit. Tell us about this Five of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Dropping the passion of responsibilities, Ten of Wands. You guys ended this because it was too much, too much betrayal. Like I said, this person, Seven of uh, Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, you could have invested a lot of time. Some of you guys could have been with this person for 10 years, for 7 years, for 10 months, or whatever the case may be. It really doesn't matter about the time because we have 10-10 here, all right? So if you guys do not know the meaning of that spiritual number, 10-10, then look it up because it is here. Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. But there was too much betrayal trail and somebody here was like you know what i can't do this you know i'm ending this connection because it's too much betrayal like you've done too much like you, like at the end of the day it's like how many times do i have to forgive you for sleeping around on me how many times do i have to forgive you for lying to me like how many times does this person actually think that you were going to continue to go through this with them yes this is a very deep spiritual connection yes this is your soul person yes this is your i say your soul person your soul mate y'all know i can't talk sometimes yes this is your life partner but that does not mean that you have to stick around and you have to allow for someone to mistreat you and because you ended this and because you dropped the passion of responsibilities because there was a lot of betrayal going on behind your back here this person i feel like is starting to wake up that's why they want to come in and now they want to be truthful with you they know that they have to tell the secrets What's this fool here, spirit? What's this fool card? Somebody is, is, is going to take a lot of courage and a lot of strength. Leo, Leo. some of you guys can be dealing with the Leo. All right. This is going to take a lot of strength and a lot of courage for someone to take this leap of faith. All right. To come towards you. 
or it's going to take a lot of strength on both of you guys behalf to have this fresh start because there's a lot of things that were done like i said there was a lot of betrayal here this person was in and out of your life they did like some of the things that this person did to you is just like unbelievable like how can you say that you love me how can you say that you want to be with me forever like how can we have so much of a deep connection like this but you continuously play me over and over again like shit on the bottom of your shoe like is that really how you think of me like how can you say that you love me but every time i turn around you're asking for me to forgive you for something that you did so y'all ended it and sometimes that's what it takes it takes for you to walk away from a person for a person to realize exactly what it is that they lost you guys know that saying, let the dog roam and they'll find this way home. They'll, they'll find their way home. Yeah, that's what you had to do. You had to let a dog roam so they can find their way back home. Like, I'm going to be here and I'm going to kill and I'm going to do what's best for me at this time. But as of for right now, I need for you to leave. I need for you to go. This is just too much. Spirit, tell me about this eight of wands. Tell me about this eight of wands. They want to work on this. They're getting ready to communicate and come to your house and talk to you or whatever the case may be. However, this communication is getting ready to come in because it's coming and it's coming in fast. OK, they are letting you know that they want to work on this with you. All right. It's like they don't want to do anything but work on this connection with you. Yeah, the lovers, they're made, they, they made their choice. They want to work on this relationship with you. Tell me about this high, higher font here, spirit. Tell me about this higher font. They want this family. Some of you guys can have a family with this person already. So here we have another 10. So we got three 10s, 10, 10, 10 out here. So this person wants to come in with the Knight of Cups and offer you something stable. This person wants to build a legacy. This person wants a family with you. For those of you guys, some of you guys have kids with this person already. And for some of you guys, this person wants to have kids with you. But this is all about family. They want to come in and they want to heal this. Some of you guys can be married to this person. Not for everyone. But some of you guys are married to this person and they want to fix this. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the Queen of Swords. But you like, what about the third parties? What about the third parties? Let's talk about this. The, what You made your decision? What decision? You decided that you were going to continue to play me with all of these hoochie mamas, hoochie daddies, whatever the case may be. Like, what about this third party? Remember those decisions that you made in the past? Where you left me, you left your children, you left this family, you left this home so that you can go around and you can fuck around and you can play around and do all of this while you want to be for the streets. Oh, you don't want to be for the streets anymore, huh? Is that what's happening now? Oh, now you're tired of the streets. Now you're tired of the fast life. Now you want to heal this connection. Now you want to heal this marriage. Now you want to heal heal this, this twin flame connection. Oh, now you want this, this legacy. Now you want this marriage. Now you want this family. How? How? How is that even possible? Because you were just dogging me. You just didn't give a damn about how you treated me or how I felt. You didn't care about how you destroyed this connection, how you destroyed this family, how you destroyed us. Oh, you want my forgiveness? How many times is this going to be now? How many times have I forgiven you? I don't think you guys are going to make this easy for this person. Yes, you guys love this person. Of course you want this to work with this person. Especially if you guys have a family and children and this is a marriage that you are in. Like I said, take what resonates. It's not going to resonate with everyone. Some of you guys are not married to this person and that's fine because this can just be a very spiritual high-end connection that you have with this person. Yeah, you guys want this to work, but it's like, let's sit and let's talk. We have to really talk about these secrets, these secrets that you're holding back from telling me about. We need to talk about that. That's the only way that this can move forward. This is the only way that we can heal from this. This is the only way that I have to, I can forgive you is I need the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God.
Spirit, tell me about this hangman, please. They realize something now. Now they want to talk to you. Now they want to message you. Now they want to apologize. Now they want your forgiveness. Okay? After being in this hangman stuck energy, now they realize they're going to message you. They're definitely going to message you. All right? King of Pentacles. You guys can be dealing with the earth sign. Now this person wants to be loyal. Spirit, tell me about this two of pentacles, please. Tell me about this two of pentacles. Tell me about this two of pentacles. Hmm. We got the queen of wands and we got the empress right here. So they could have been juggling you with someone else. Okay? They could have been juggling you with, with someone else. Did somebody get somebody pregnant here? And that was just something that you were... That, that was just something that you was like, oh, you got me all the way messed up. All right? And if not, then you're standing your ground. You're standing in your power. You are an empress. Okay, and you're like, I, I'm not dealing with anything the, like the type of stuff that you think that you're going to continuously pull and do to me and do to hurt me is beneath me. I know my power. I know who I am and I'm going to stand in that. You won't juggle me. You won't be in and out of my life. You won't be in and out of these kids life. You're not going to be running in and out of the house just thinking you could do whatever it is that you want to do. I don't think so. I know exactly who I am, and I'm standing with that. Juggling? Juggling who? Juggling what? Juggling where? Not over here, you won't be. Hey, you can't juggle an empress. You can't do that. Male or female, you can't. An empress, an emperor, you can't. There's no possible way. Everything that you out in the streets trying to juggle me with is beneath me. But they realize that now. Justice. They received their karma. Okay? They received it. Yeah. Now they're sad. They feel regretful. They feel hurt. They don't know if this, they, this can come back together. Queen of Cups. They don't know if you still love them. Spirit, what's this Knight of Cups energy here? They should have thought about that before they was running around here being for the streets. What's this Knight of Cups? What's this Knight of Cups? What's this Knight of Cups, please, Spirit? judgment they made a final decision that this is what they want all right and they're taking action i'm telling y'all if this person don't pop up at your door y'all getting ready to receive some messages like some communication that is coming in fast they're getting ready to take action there's no if ands or buts about it they made a decision all right they made their they're made up their mind they made their decision they're tired of juggling they're tired of running around they're tired of being a liar they're tired of deceiving you they miss you they want to come back home they want their wife they want their counterpart they're, they they want the queen of pentacles it's like you're unbothered right now all right you're unbothered you're unbothered hold on here yeah here they come here they come, but you don't trust them. You don't trust this person as far as you can see their ass. But they coming, though. They rushing in, they coming, and they coming in fast. Like, this may even possibly happen today, within the next 24 to 48 hours, because this energy is strong with this action being taken from whoever this person is. Whether it's you or it's this person, they are coming, and they are coming in strong. This person has made a final decision. about you and they're rushing in they rushing in they can't hold back no more i don't know what happened what kind of karma that this person got for whatever it is that they did to you or you know I, i'm not really too for sure but hey spirit tell me about this seven of cups they can't hold back no more so now we got the emperor and the empress here 
they had to make a choice. Did, did they they were keeping you as an option okay they was keeping this relationship this marriage they were treating you as you were an option how in the hell are you going to treat your wife or your husband or your like the person that you're in a relationship with how you gonna try what choice what other choices could it possibly be i'm confused here i'm really confused now i'm fucking confused really so they had to choose Disconnection. What? What were the other options? This is what I want to know. Cause I'm right now. I'm clearly freaking confused with the certain cards that are out here. The Emperor, the Empress, the Hierophant, the, the the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, what were you choosing? Because it all seems to be here to me. What was they thinking? What was they doing? They had a lot of options when it came to love. But now you see they right back where they see the dog back home, want to come back home now. They thinking about it. They analyzing. They trying to figure some shit out. Because they stuck. Like, I'm, if, if somebody can please tell me what better options were there? Were there that, what did they think that they was going to find in those streets? What's this Eight of Swords here, please, Spirit? Spirit, what's this Eight of Swords? That just, it's, it's just like, really? Like, and then always want to just run back. Like, please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Like, but who can compete with me? Who? You you know that it's, this is just like, it, I, I, sometimes I just get so upset and I just really be trying to figure out what people be thinking about. But sometimes this be people's karma. You got to let people figure things out for themselves. You can't figure it out for them. You may know that there's nothing better outside of this connection here, but they had to learn that for themselves. Spirit, what's this Eight of Cups? I mean, not the Eight of Cups. Well, <clears throat> what is this uh, Eight of Swords, period? What's this Eight of Swords here? Somebody got to make a decision. Somebody here has to make a decision. They're stuck in their thoughts. Yeah, because you don't know if you could trust this person. They always doing stupid shit. This is Eight of Swords. Like, why should I believe you now? This came out in the challenge position. Are you going to give equally to us now? Are you going to give equally to me? Are you going to be here for me? Are you going to be here for this family? Are you going to be here for this children? And like I said, if y'all don't have a family and a children or children with this person, are you going to give equally to this uh, to this connection? Are you going to keep breadcrumbing me? What's a, what, what are you going to do? Why should I trust you? Why? Why should I trust you? What's so different now? What lessons did you learn? Because this will be interesting. This is going to be a very interesting conversation because I now I want to know what this is challenging for you. Oh, you couldn't make up your mind. They want it. They want this new beginning. They want to move forward. They want to come and see you. They want to talk to you. What's the Seven of Swords energy here, Spirit? What's the Seven of Swords energy here? Seven of Swords to the Eight of Swords. This person is so stuck in their thoughts that they get and they feel as they can. The app. Somebody here is just like, I don't like about this marriage, about this commitment, about this relationship. The lovers and the hierophant. Like, this is a strong ass. Um, divinely guided connection. This is meant to be. Like, there's no questions about it. But you're, like I said, you don't trust this person as far as you can see they ass. But the, the scales are going to be balanced out. Justice is going to be served. Like I said, some of you guys do have kids with this person. You're going to get victory. You're going to get a new opportunity. You know, but somebody knows that they, 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 if there's things that are going to have to freaking end here. Give me one more. Yeah, look what that's look what y'all little sneaky behavior done got y'all. Look, look what it's done got y'all. Tower. Okay. 
tower. Somebody realizes now that this this little sneaky behavior, they little player ways and all of the shit that they was doing, now they realize, damn, I just lost my person. This could be the end of it. Like, I fucked it up. Like, how can I get this back together? They don't even know if this can come back together. Completion. There's some, some, some karma. Lessons need to be learned. There's a completion. Somebody here is walking away and they're going towards what makes them happy. And somebody's going to get rejected. Somebody's going to feel like they missed out on an opportunity because they wanted to be out here playing around with little hoochie mamas and shit like that. And they couldn't make up their fucking mind. It's going to, it's going to, it's, it, I don't know how this is getting ready to turn out for somebody. Some of you guys are not going to accept this person back and some of you guys are going to accept this person back. I don't know. That's completely up to you guys. I don't know the history. I don't know everything that happened. But I want to know what this tower is. Spirit, tell me about this tower. What's this tower? Yeah. We got the three of pentacles, the devil, and the two of cups. They're obsessed with getting this to work. This person is obsessed with working on this connection. They finally realized. It gets no better. How can it? Where, where is it going to get? It ain't going to get no better than this. Ain't going to get no better than this. With this and with this, it does not get any better. Where does it get any better? It's not. It's not. It don't matter where you go, what you do, who you, who you sleep with, how pretty, how handsome they are, like, you know what I'm saying, how much money somebody got, like how bad their body is, or, you know, whatever the case may be, it does not get any better than that. This person needs to tell you exactly how they feel. All right, you guys. So this is, a, I'm sorry, because that kind of just like pissed me off because it's, it's, it's just like, what, what are you doing? Like, how did you do this? How did you mess this up? Like, good luck with this, you guys. All right. I hope that this message resonate with you. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, I ask that you please do so. All right. Um, like the video, you guys, it doesn't cost anything to like the video. That way you are helping your girl out. It helps to build the channel and it also helps to push the message out. So everyone that needs to receive the message, the message reaches. All right. I am open for personal readings. All the information you need is down below in the description box. All right, you guys. Love you. Get ready for this communication because whoever your person is, they coming. They probably at your door now. Go see. I don't know. But they coming. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.